Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please and please subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Attempted arrest. Why is Peter will be sending third parties to tell our the story? Showore. The presidential candidate of African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyele Showore, has said that there is something suspicious about the attempted arrest story of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi. Newsroom Nigeria recalls that earlier reports had indicated that UK immigration had detained Obi for hours, had interrogated him after his British Airways plane landed at Itro Airport on Friday morning over alleged impersonation. A close associate who served under Obi while he was the governor of Anambra State, Professor Stella Okuna, disclosed this via a post on Facebook. Also confirming the incident, the Obi Dati Media Office said the Labour Party presidential candidate was questioned at the airport for a long time, which seemed quite strange considering that he had lived for over a decade in the country. Reacting via Twitter, Shoure wondered how Obi's identity was mistaken when there is a modern biometric passport with his fingerprint and biometric identity. He insisted that something suspicious is happening. He wrote, and I quote, there is something suspicious about at Peter Obi's UK immigration story because I don't see how a modern biometric passport with its fingerprint and biometric identity would lead to his being seen as an impersonator or a clone. More curious is why he's sending third parties to tell half of a story, something fishy is going on hashtag revolution now you guys let me have your thoughts in the comment section what do you think exactly happened at the intro airport because that was i think this was the exact you know points that i raised in my previous video because i am i'm confused in this modern day world i don't think that you know somebody should be confused with another thing when there is uh a biometric passport that has fingerprints and everything how successful would that person be if someone is trying to pass as peter will be what do you all think i'm confused here is it that easy for somebody to impersonate another person yeah i've heard of you know people using uh, fake passports other people's passports you know but you know peter will be is not it's not just a normal average Nigerian. I don't think that Peter Obi is someone who a lot of people do not know, at least. Even other countries, they know Peter Obi. Peter Obi is quite popular, you know. He's been, he's, 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 he's lived in the, in the UK for the past 10 years. So I think that they know him. So how all of a sudden is it that... Uh, Peter Obi now has an imposter, someone who is trying to pass as Peter Obi. And why wasn't the person apprehended? Why wasn't the person arrested? I don't understand. I don't get. <laughs> Even the APC spokesman, you know, tried to use this by, by you know, alluding to the fact that it is not only uh, Tinobu or Buhari that has imposter that now Peter Obi now has a clone, that Peter Obi should, you know, tell Nigerians where his clone is at. 
it's so funny but you know of course what do you expect them to this to say of course they want to use you know the the this thing that has happened this story to their advantage let me have your thoughts in the comment section like i said you guys know i don't know much i'm just keeping it real because at this point i'm confused i am confused because i don't know how easy it, it can be for somebody to pretend to be another person in this in this modern day world and we know these Oyibo people we are, are you we we know how they work it's not good it's, it cannot be easy for somebody to 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 claim that he is peter obi and walk and walk through the airports just like that ah and please what is what is the basis like if someone pretends to be peter obi it means that probably that person is trying to get get away with something so what is the crime that was being committed because according to show rare he's saying that uh, peter obi is not telling the whole story what other story does show rare expect peter obi to tell us did something else happen was a crime committed those are the questions that i needed i need answers to you get was any crime committed because the way she rest said it is looking as if probably a crime was committed it is not only uh it is not only the fact that someone pretended to be peter ob only probably a crime was committed but you know we we need the full story obedient members out there they need to be carried along you know just tell your spokesperson to put a statement a full statement or peter Obi should address you know his audience by himself you know because that was what also one of the points that uh, show rare raised he said he is 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 allowing third parties you know to tell the stories but i feel that all along it's been okay for you to use your aid you know to 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 put out statements why is it that this one is an exception what do you all think because this whole thing is just it's confusing me let me have your thoughts in the comment section guys thank you very very much for always listening and watching i will see you in my next video bye for now